So given an IP address and a subnet mask, you can determine the network address, the broadcast address, and your range of host addresses. So we're gonna work with this IP address here, 172.16.5.34 with a subnet mask of 26. So I wrote this IP address out in binary already just to speed things up a little bit. So what the subnet mask can do for us is it can tell us which portion of this IP address is network and which portion is host. So the first 26 bits represents the network portion. So here we have 8, 16, 24. Maybe I'll get a different marker here. And then here's the split. So here's the first 26 bits of this IP address. So in order to determine the network address, the network address is the most general address out of this IP and subnet mask. So if we took the remainder of bits outside of that subnet mask and turn them into zeros, that's gonna be our network address. So our first three octets are going to stay the same, but the last one, if we made these all zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then that means our network address is 172.16.5.0. So network address, let me write that in here, um, 172.16.5.0. I'll do it a little closer, 172.16.5.0. That's our network address. So in addition to the network address, we wanna figure out the broadcast address. So the broadcast address is the exact opposite of the network address. The broadcast address is taking everything after that 26th bit and turning it into ones. So we still have the same first three octets, but this last octet, it has to start with zero, zero, because that's everything, those first two zeros are part of that 26 of the subnet mask. So we start with the two zero zeros in the last octet, but then we make the, the remaining six bits one. So our broadcast address is going to be 172.16.5 and then 00, 0 with a bunch of 1s is 63. So our broadcast again, 172.16.5 and then this equates to 63. So that's our network portion our broadcast portion, how do we determine our host addresses? Well, our host addresses are everything in between that. So what you can do is you can take your broadcast address and subtract one from it, and that would be your last host address, and you can take your network address and add one to it, and that would be your first host address. So your host, are going to be 172.16.5 and then the first host address we're going to add one to the network one two three four five six seven eight right so that's actually 172.16.5.1 and then our last host address is going to take our broadcast and subtract one so it would be 0012 or 111110 or 62. So our range of hosts is 172.16.5.1 up until 172.16.5.62.